Hey guys, today we are going to be making a watch cycle and this tutorial is brought to you by the animation piece. So, I already have all my poses drawn out and I've made my character and his uh, first pose is him already starting to walk. So, <clears throat> I'm going to just uh, tell you everything I did to get him to uh, look smooth walking. And this is what it's going to look like at the end, or what you should have. So, okay. You definitely don't need to have as many frames as I did. Like, for, uh, I'd use probably, I'll see. I used, uh, eight frames, I think. And then all I did was, um, copy those frames, pasted them on the ninth frame, pasted the frames out, and then I just moved over uh, each frame. So it would look like he continue continues to walk. So what you're gonna want to do first off is you're gonna want to make a new layer. Uh, your brush tool, whatever you have, if you have a character, like a little stick man already drawn out, whatever, you want to um use him in his first position, if you're just going to draw this out right now and uh, follow this tutorial completely, then you will have him in this position. So, what you want to do is his right leg is planted on the toes and bent. And then his left leg is forward with his foot off the ground. And then you want to draw his arms in his hand so anyways you guys can draw that in and what you want to make sure is since his right leg is back his right arm should be forward as you can see so anyways once you have that all drawn out I'm gonna draw it real quick just to show you how to do this Okay, once you have that all drawn out, you go to the next frame on that layer, insert keyframe. Now on that keyframe, you want to hit uh, Command X, or you can right click and cut, or it is Control X on a uh, PC. And you want to draw in the second frame of him walking. So, on the second frame, his right leg should be at a 90 degree angle with his uh, toes pointing down. That's if you're going to put in feet too. With his um, with his right arm still forward and his left arm still back, like so. And then his left leg is bent and flat on the ground. So you're going to have something else like that probably way better. I'm just doing this quick since the tutorial has to be short. So uh, as you can see you have the first two steps of a watch cycle and you basically keep doing that. You keep creating keyframes, cutting it, and then drawing your stick man in his next pose. Now I will uh, post this uh, file up on the in the comment section so you guys can use it for a guideline and um yeah so it'll be a picture and you can just uh, save it or whatever you want to do and then you can import it into flash to import something into flash by the way you go to the uh, toolbar you go to file you go to import, and I know you guys couldn't see that, but tell me what to do. Import to library, and then you find um, whatever you want, wherever it is, and you double click it and open it up in here. Or you can also open it up in the folder, find it in the uh, folder, and then just drag it on over to the stage and drop it. So, um,. This is uh, how to create a watch cycle doing it keyframe 
by keyframe. So, in another tutorial, I, uh, I'll show you guys how to make a uh, watch cycle doing it with the bone tool and singles. So, um, be sure to keep updated with the tutorials and subscribe, comment, and rate. And thanks for watching.